guys, I am back with another video and today's video is going to be a Hobie yarn haul and I am so excited because I got a lot of yarn from there recently. I still am waiting on one more Hobie order um, that I placed a while ago. It should be here in the next week or two hopefully. Um, but yeah, so really, really excited. So let's get into what I bought from Hobie. So I saw these on there and I had never tried these before so I grabbed them um, I had placed an order before this one and I had ordered these but um, I ordered a different color and a different size and so this time I decided to get um, a 3 mil. so these are the Addy Sock Wonder lace uh, needles these are um, 3 mil, which is what I use to do socks with and I will take them out to show you um, I will put prices for everything as well. Um, if you're new to Hobie and you don't know, Hobie is based in Denmark. Um, their website though is in American dollars. So everything um, I purchase is always in American dollars and then it converts into Australian. So I'll always put both Australian and American prices on the screen. Um, now I will apologize. This particular needle is no longer on um, for sale on their website. Um, it was on clearance when I purchased this because they were getting rid of them or whatever, but um, they've been discontinued. But I wanted to try these, so I got them. So this is what they look like. It's just a short, like, 9-inch, I think, circular to knit socks with. Um, this is the longer needle. I'm not entirely sure of the dimensions of these because I don't know. And then this side is shorter. So... Essentially, when you're using these to knit, the longer one goes in your dominant knitting hand and then the shorter one goes in your non-dominant hand. So that when you're knitting, so if you're right-handed, it goes in your right. If you're left-handed, it goes in your left. So just, you know, you knit with the long side. Um, I will say I do, like I said, I have a slightly bigger size in these and there's a learning curve <laughs> to knitting with these. There is. I think the hardest thing is, is the casting on and knitting the very first round is the hardest part. Once you get past that first round though, you're good. You're all good to go. It's just that first, first round. So I got myself these. These are the lace ones and I'm pretty excited. I just, yeah, I'm so excited because I already know exactly what I'm going to be using these needles for. So I ordered that. Um, then I ordered, um, some of this yarn. This is called Tweed Delight. I have ordered this before. Um, so this is the second time I've ordered it, but just, I ordered different colors this time. So I am so, so excited, um, for this because, actually, let me just quickly bring up, um, the Hobie website. While that's loading, I'm going to just talk to you because they do not write the color names on the labels, just the numbers. So I'm going to bring the website up so I can see the actual names for these things. So Tweed Delight is 85% wool, 10% acrylic, and 5% viscose. So the viscose will be like the little Tweedy bits in this. And I have worked with this actually. I will quickly show you. I made a headband and matching fingerless mitts out of the ivory neon tweed delight and I loved working with this it was so soft and beautiful so I knew I wanted to order some more and these ones um, I ordered in um, autumn colors because here in Australia we are currently in autumn so I'm really um, excited to come up with projects for these I think I already know some of the things that I want to make uh, with the Tweed Delight yarn. Sorry, my internet's super slow here, so it's taking a bit to bring the website up so I can tell you what these are. So, bear with me, guys. Okay, so this particular colorway is called Autumn Maple. It is colorway number... Oh no, sorry, not Autumn Maple. This one is Red Clay. Colorway Red Clay number 14. I love this. 
So it does, it's 100 um, meters or 50 gram donut. It requires a 4.5 to 5 mil needle or a 5 mil crochet hook. And it is a medium four. So I got two of these because they're only 50 gram balls. I wanted to have at least 100 grams. So I've got that colorway. And I actually really, really like this colorway. It's um, also got like black, beige, and like a khaki sort of green color, like tweedy sort of bits in there. So yeah, so excited for that. So there's that one. The next colorway I got is this one, which is number 19, which is Autumn Maple. So this is a brown color. This one has been, I think, wound up a bit tighter than the others. Um, so this colorway is like a chocolatey color brown. And then it's got green, like a mustard yellow, and then an orange through this. And I just love these colors you guys like look how pretty those are so so pretty so I got those um just bear with me I've got them sitting in a bag next to me <laughs> okay then the next colorway I got was this colorway this one is amber glow I love this colorway. It's so pretty. Um, this one is like a mustardy orange sort of color. And then it has um, black and white tweedy bits all through it. Which I really, really love. Like I just love that sort of color. So you can kind of see here like all the tweedy bits. This is going to be so perfect for some of my projects that I've got in mind. So I've got that one. The next colorway I got is this one. And this is Dijon, like Dijon mustard. Um, so it is a mustard yellow. And it has um, black and like these beige like light beige and then like these darker sort of brown tweedy bits through it. I love this. This is going to look amazing. And as you can see, the tweedy bits can come off. So just keep that in mind. That's just the nature of this yarn though, see? So if that's not something you like, then this yarn's not going to be for you. But I love it. So that is all I ordered in the Tweed Delight. Um, then I got, um, let's see here. I'm just trying to find everything that I got. Okay. I got four of these. Uh, these are the Rainbow 4-ply sock wool. It's 75% wool, 25% polyamide. So this is designed, obviously, to knit socks. Um, this one is a, says number one, super fine. It is a 50 gram ball with approximately 210 meters. It requires a 2.5 to 3 mil needle or a 2.5 to 3 mil hook. Um, so that's a really, really... Um, perfect for what I actually ordered them for and I already have a project in mind because I had a project that I saw and I got these colors to um, to do that project with so this particular colorway is in the color number 29 curry so I got four of these because they're only 50 grams so I needed um, I'm going to be needing two pairs of Easter socks so one for me, one for my fiance. So I needed 100 grams per set. So there's that. Um, then I got, let's see here. I got two of these ones. So the same wool, the rainbow four ply sock wool. 
Uh, this one is in the color number two, which is cream. So I needed 50 grams per set of socks. So I ordered two of them. So there's 100 grams there. So there's that. Then I ordered... This one, uh, this one is a little bit messed up. Jesus, look at that. That one got a little bit messed up. I'm gonna have to cake that up. Um, so this one is in the color number 13, which is light blue. So this one is going to be for my fiance's sock, um, this color. And then for me, for my sock, I got this colorway, which is number 37, which is light pink. So his is going to be blue and mine is going to be pink. So I got that. Okay. And then um, I got... Okay, I got two of these. Um, these are a new yarn on Hobie's website. This is the, I don't know how to pronounce this word, Malang, Malang, I don't know, Amigo Malang XL. So this is 100% acrylic. I love the colors. It's so soft. When I saw the colorways, I immediately knew I wanted to try this yarn. Um, this one is 100% acrylic, like I said. It's a 50 gram ball, 100 meters. Requires a 5mm needle or a 5 to 6mm hook, and it's considered a medium 4. Now, I got two of them to make up 100 grams so that I can do whatever I want with them. I also have ideas in mind for these already as well. This one is in the color number 11, which is um, just color of, it's just called Curry Black and Rust. And so it's got like a cream sort of color to it. And then it's got specks of orange, yellow, like a rust color, and then black through it. Oh, I just love it. Look at the prettiness. This screams autumn to me so much, you guys. So there's those two. The next two I ordered is going to be these two. Uh, these ones are so pretty, actually. These could be um, spring or summer, really. These are so squishy. Um, this one's in the color number 13, which is mint, light pink, and sunflower. So it's a predominantly cream. It's got this really pretty sunflower yellow. It's got like a mint sort of specks and like mint actually in a slightly darker green. And then these very tiny pink specks to it. These are going to look so pretty knit up. So there's two of those. Then I got these two. These are color number 10, which is... Let me see if I can find it. This one is called Light Pink, Delicate Rose, and Dark Steel. This one, again, is predominantly uh, like a white or creamy white. It's got very small flecks of pink in there, kind of like this peachy orange, and then like this gray sort of color tone through it. It is gorgeous, and I love it. Love it. And then I got... This colorway here, this is color number eight, which is vintage pink, gray, and mauve. Um, and this is really pretty. It's got such pretty, gorgeous, pinky purple colors throughout this one. I am not sure what I'm gonna do with this colorway, but I look forward to seeing it knit up because the colors are just so perfect. So, so perfect. And then, um, the very last two colors that I got, well, one color, but two balls of yarn is this colorway, which is number 12, 
which is dove blue curry and olive so it is again predominantly like this creamy white color it's got that curry yellow in it the sort of green color and then this gray color which they're calling dove blue like this color right here but it is so pretty this one does have a ripped tag which I hate when that happens so I'll have to tape it but I love these colors you guys these are so pretty so so excited for that I just cannot wait to use all of these now also when you order through Hobie you normally get a free little gift with purchase and most of my orders have come with free gifts except for my last order did not this order did and then my next order did not so I don't know why my orders have started not coming with free gifts because everybody else's orders have free gifts so I don't know I'm just popping the yarn all back into the, the bag um because I can't hold all of these on my lap so let me just Yeah, so I don't know why my orders have stopped coming with free gifts. This one come with it, but the previous one didn't, and the next one's not either. But the free gift that I got this time is the Jumbo um, Stitch Markers, which is great. I always need stitch markers, so really happy to have that. And there's 15 pieces in there. It's just like a purple, a yellow, and this like blue sort of color. So that's really, really cool to get that. I really do love... When companies put free little gifts like that in there it just makes the world of difference so but yeah so anyway guys that was everything that i ordered it was a lot i know but i'm so excited to use all of it i cannot tell you how excited i am so anyway guys that is everything i really hope you enjoyed this video and um please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll chat to you guys later bye <laughs>